remind you that the story that I began with, that when Freedom House was founded, the United States was experiencing very much a crisis of spirit that was similar to what's happening today. We had closed our doors to immigrants, and much to our shame, we had closed our doors to refugees from, from Germany and from Hitler. Our trade policies were highly restrictive and our willingness to join the war against fascism was very much in question. And while President Roosevelt understood the nature of the challenge, many of our elected officials, business leaders, and intellectual icons did not. Now, fortunately today, we're not facing something as existential as Hitler and our challenges of a different nature. But we have to concede that the direction is wrong. And that's why even as we acknowledge and seek to rectify democracy's deficiencies, we continue to make the case for a democracy and we do so without apology. I truly think it takes a village to do this important work and underscore the importance of building globally minded community members and youth who are going to be part of our future workforce. And we want to see even more engagement from youth in all that we do, threading it right to programs like this, where we're pulling in our partners and community members to talk about global issues. And again, why are they locally relevant? Why do they matter to Pittsburgh? And what should Pittsburgh be doing about them? We at Freedom House, at least, we reject the view that America must retreat from the world, that America must look to its own interests and only its own interests. In our view, America has been most successful when it is open to the world, sought alliances with our friends, and when facing the choice between freedom and repression, we opted for freedom. So I'm going to stop there and take some questions.